Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coding with Karthik. So if you are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel Coding with Karthik and also click on the bell icon. So most of you are asking for the full code explanation. So that's why I'm making this uh, videos to have the full explanation of the source code. So yes, now let's begin the session. So as usual, we have import the turtle module as a TUR and the color system as CS. And we are using this uniform method from the random modules to generate the random numbers, which we'll use for along with the color system to generate the random colors, right? So since if you see this visual, we have the, we have this visual 360 degrees circular, right? So, and if you see, right, it like this circle have the eight sections, like that means each section have the entire color system with the different variations. Okay, from zero to 45, we have the color system with the different variation again 45 to 90 90 to 1 135 135 to 180 so like this uh in total 360 degrees we'll have the eight sections of the color system right so i mean in each section we'll have the entire color system but we are changing the variance of the color and also like the intensity will be the same but we'll just change the variance of the color so that for that change of the variance we'll use this uniform method to generate the random numbers from the 0 to 1 okay anyways let's the session you will get to understand why we are using this okay now first let me set this basic color that means background color to the black so let me generate now let me iterate 360 times right now let's set the color of the pen okay so I have imported as a CS, uh, CS right? so that's why I'm using CS start HSV dot HSV to RGB and what I told you like we'll have in circle we have this eight sections right? so for that what I will do so simply I will use by 45 okay so that means for every 45 uh, degrees we'll have the complete colors I mean uh, we'll have the all type of colors okay then we'll change the variance as i told like we'll use this uniform method okay that means intensity let's say it's kind of intensity or variance of the color okay for that i'm going to use this uniform so basically for hsv right so the second parameter should be from 0 to 1 so that's why it will generate some float number from in between 0 and 1 so that's why we are using the uniform method now finally what will uh will have this intensity right so for that we'll use one like we're not changing it because if you change the intensity to zero it will be like black color so that's why we're just keeping it as one now i'm going to set the pen size as two you can use width of method also but i'm using pen size whatever it is when both are same now i'm using forward of 150 degrees i will do like just to forward the pen to the 150 units now what i will do just rotate the direction to the right 30 degrees and again i will forward 60 units and again i will do i will turn left to 90 degrees and again i will just forward 60 degrees again i will just do right 60 degrees okay just to understand first we'll set this to one just to see how this first uh, one right now i'm just using this done okay just to have the visual Now see okay let's change this uh, i mean let's change the speed so by that we can see the clear thing speed of let's say have one just i'm just taking the speed of the output see it is forward forward 150 and right 30 and we are doing forward 60 and left 90 and again we are forwarding the 60 degrees so and we are rotating the 60 degrees because for the next time also we ha will have a slight variance a slight degree variance of one degree so that's why we'll just resetting that using that last right 60 okay now what we'll do we'll just complete the remaining things also what 
this right so we'll use turtle dot uh pen now so because again we have to reset we'll uh we'll go to the center position so that's why turtle dot set position of turtle dot pen down so now what we'll do we'll just slightly we'll change the uh, uh like angle of this i mean upcoming graphics using one so that means each that each of this line will have the right one degree so by that we'll come to the entire 360 degrees now let me just increase to 360 let me run it again This is the first iteration. Now, what is the second iteration? Okay, so this is how it will be generated, right? So now let me just increase the speed to the x0. So it is the maximum speed. So if you use that, see it is generating the like it is generated in the colors with the different variants of multiple colors right not the same color so that's why we have given this i by 45 that means for each 45 degrees we'll have the set of colors like all all i mean i mean all the colors of the set and next even in in, in that one section will have the different variations of the color so see it is like it is keep changing it's like if you see right so for every 45 degrees it is kind of resetting the colors right yeah let it then so again there is one more trick like if you want to get the output as quick as possible right so you can use one more thing as to dot tracker sorry tracer of just you can keep them so then it will give you like in more fast output so this is how it will be so now it is even if it comes speed of method it will be like more faster so you can use this tracer method to get the output as quick as possible yes that's it guys so like one more thing so here in this code you can change that hsv to rpg parameters and you can just play with it there is no restriction i should give only this thing right so it's based on that like but basically just make sure that that hsv to rgb parameters should be like the value should be from 0 to 1 all the three parameters okay so you have to make sure that that's it like there's nothing like you will it will be generated so let's change it okay maybe instead of that for all these things uh for, for even for the first parameter i will use is zero to one okay let's see how it is and we can, you can change the pin size and you can change this forward this, this is up to you like whatever you want you can just uh change it and you will see the output in, in the screen right so now let me just run it again see it is completely random colors right zero to one because even for the first one i have generated zero to one so that's why it's giving like this okay it's up to you like you can just revert back and it's like that is whatever you want you can just give that input to this hsp to rgp method so i think that's it for this session so i hope you like the video and you enjoy the session so and if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon so it's kind of encouragement for me to make more and more videos on these topics right yeah thank you guys we'll meet in the next session